I have my favorite teacup with no panda. And this is cool. If I turn it, you can see uh, that looks like Earth to me. So I think that this is a space panda. Hi, I'm twofold and I usually have more than one perspective or answer. I'm filming in advance so this can go up right on New Year's Day. Today I'm doing the first video about the books I'm reading for my 2021 African Author Challenge and I'll also just say a little about the other goals I have for reading for this year. I was so excited when my books came in from the library. I was a little worried they wouldn't come in before the beginning of the year and I would be stalled and I couldn't get started, but they did. So here are the first four I requested. Talismano by Adel Wahab Madeb. This book is from Tunisia and the back says, a fever dream of revolution situated on the knife edge between competing cultures. I could be into a fever dream. Next we have The Dark Child by Kamara Lay. This book is from Guinea or French Guinea and it says that it is a coming of age autobiography. We've got She Plays with Darkness by Zaik Zimda. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this beautiful cover. That's why I picked it when I was scrolling through my library shelf. But I'm not sure what to do. This is a South African author writing about Lesotho. So I'm not sure if it counts or it certainly doesn't count twice but let me know what you think it says that it's about like twins and betrayal in a mountain country i'm excited it, it again it's really pretty and then this book is bird summons by lila abulela and it's i'm really excited it's the only one i picked by a woman it looks really interesting it takes place in scotland so Three Egyptian women go on a trip to Scotland and discuss their lives and families and looks like one of the children is disabled so I'm really interested and excited to read that. Hope I didn't mispronounce anything. I will definitely double check and learn to pronounce things right for the wrap up and for the future videos because I think that's really important. My other book goals for the year are not the same as a challenge. The challenge is directing me what to read. A goal is like how much to read. So my goal this year is to read 120 books. That's 10 a month. I really, really don't want to take months off like I have in past years, but I also am going to be gentle with myself. <sighs> so I was on a roll and then the maintenance department decided to vacuum my hallway. So I don't really remember where I was. Right now, uh, two-thirds of my books are by female authors, but not quite two-thirds of my authors are female. So I'm trying to maybe boost that up a little. It looks like a little more than one-third of my authors are people of color. I think I'm gonna sort of leave that alone because it might be a problem that solves itself with the challenge. We're just gonna have to see and then maybe I'll work on scaling that up the year afterwards. And yeah, it's a little problem that my diversity of reading is all POC lumped together. I haven't really ever done stats on, on who's who. I think that with diversity goals, you kind of have to take it in steps. So that's where I'm at right now. That's it for now. I'm not sure what's coming up, but I'll see you next week. See ya.